have you guys seen what's been going on with the Mark Rubin, not Mark Rubin, Michael Rubin's white party and all the controversy around little baby hugging people and shit. And, you know, essentially the black hip hop community over there in America, essentially um, by default displaying how intrinsically homophobic they are. It's really odd. I don't really understand the kind of confusion or the fucking craziness that's been going on around it so let me get the child away quickly here so this is courtesy of vogue it says jay-z beyonce kim kardashian inside the hamptons most starry fourth of july party right michael rubin who's this guy over here um i don't really know much about him but they say here he's the ceo of fanatics a world leading provider of licensed sports merchandiser and executive chairman of real guilt group an e-commerce portfolio company that includes rue la la guilt.com and shop premium so definitely a rich guy and as you can see there his net worth is 11.4 billion so nothing to fucking mess with right so he puts on these 4th of july parties um which happen to be on the 4th of july and not the 31st of july and um he invites everybody down there and they all get dressed in all white and do what rich people do gallivant around and have a good time right for some reason for some reason right at this flipping party that includes all of these fucking, you know, people, as you can see here, Lala Anthony, Kim Kardashian, Laurie Harvey, Justin Skye, Hailey Bieber, who else is here, right? Loads of people, right? You see here, um, Taco, Leo DiCaprio, Ruben, I don't know who this guy is, um, and Will Marcus or something. Loads of rich people, right? And then for some reason, this picture here was the one that went viral. Where is it? Where can I see? Is it here? No, there we go somewhere around here there's a picture that went viral that everyone was going crazy about which features little baby getting hugged up by michael rubin and some reason people just didn't like it right they kind of got really offended by it, it kind of drove them up the wall and i don't really understand what the issue is behind it personally it's kind of really disturbing me to kind of just see the confusion and the fucking harassment that little baby's kind of facing for essentially having a good time let's see if i can find the picture where is it somewhere around here right is it here look <laughs> that's a bit mad don't get me wrong that picture's a bit mad <laughs> but it kind of is what it is where is it i can't find it oh anyway it doesn't matter let me see if i can find it on here um little baby mm, yeah there we go so this is the picture, right? Everyone's going crazy about, right? It's Michael Rubin hugged up behind little baby. There's one of him in a sandwich with these, with this two other white guys and this one where he's essentially having the kind of time of his life. In my opinion, when I look at the pictures, maybe because I'm, you know, I'm an empath, but the first thing that I saw when I saw these pictures of these celebrities at this party, the first thing that I noticed was how genuine and warm the smiles were and how happy they all were to actually pose for pictures some people who are very notoriously press shy or photographer shy they were really happy to pose for pictures they had a really big smile on their face and they all looked really relaxed and the first thing that made me feel when i saw the pictures before that's kind of sad like you can see these kind of people they never really relax in social environments because they always feel like there's hangers on coming around, trying to get autographs, trying to get pictures, trying to pitch them on some cryptocurrency shit, right? Um, trying to pitch them on a business idea, on a project, ask for money. It must be really kind of mentally exhausting to be a famous person out and about with the public, right? It kind of sounds because some people are just gross when they meet famous people, they freak out, they get weird and they just start acting really needy and start to kind of want to suck all their energy out of them. So when I look at these pictures, I just see a lot of rich and famous people who are genuinely relaxed and happy at where they are, right? Look at these, Tom Brady, um, Ben Affleck and JLo. Look how happy and relaxed they look. Look how over the moon they look to be out somewhere amongst people who are the same you know level of richness and famous as they are no one's there's going to ask you for money no one's there's going to ask you for a job for the most part they're all just chilling waiting to do a couple of bumps in the toilet and have a good time that's all they want to do so it doesn't surprise me that a rapper like little baby would go to the same sort of party around these same sort of people and feel a little bit more relaxed and feel able to kind of let his guard down and be a bit silly because maybe this is who he actually really is maybe he doesn't mind fucking around hugging up on man them being kind of pally pally being a bit of a class clown bit of a jokester but when he's around the goons he kind of has to tense up and kind of put the face on because he knows you can't let anybody see any inch of weakness in you you can't let anybody think you're a bitch so you kind of always have to kind of have this stern almost still demeanor about you 
which might explain why they are acting like this. And also, it kind of made me think to myself, like, I wonder if some people, I wonder if this is America, because maybe it's a, I only see this from like the black Twitter side of things, and obviously black Twitter is very American. I wonder if this is a thing in America. I don't know if you guys, if, if this is an issue. I wonder if you guys in America have this thing where you actually work within your like racial groups. Is that a thing? Because in the UK, if you get a normal job, it doesn't matter if you work in McDonald's or you work in a fucking office, you're going to be working with everybody under the sun, right? Every race and color and creed. So usually you get to kind of meet people outside of your hood, outside of your area that kind of allow you to maybe you know, see a different side of the world, different kind of understanding of people's life experiences. And you kind of just grow up a little bit. But I wonder if in America, you're all used to living amongst people that are the same color as you live working amongst people that are the same color as you so that when you do finally get around quote unquote white people you you know it's very obvious that some people haven't had that experience because they don't ever be around white people i wonder if that's a thing it probably is right it probably is a thing because i think in the uk we don't have that maybe because it's, it's a really small island but essentially everybody kind of mixes with each other there are certain industries where there are going to be you know there's not going to be a lot of flipping you know there's not going to be a lot of um blacks and browns and asians and shit but i wonder if in america you have this thing where if you're from the hood you usually you work in the hood and if you work in the hood usually everyone in the hood's gonna look like you you're not gonna really have a lot of white and if you do have white people that work in the hood they're usually gonna be acting like the way you do because they grew up in the hood so maybe because of that most people aren't used to seeing what it looks like when you hang out with your work friends because this is what happens sometimes when, when i used to work for the first time in like central london you had your kind of work friends who were different than people that you hanged about if at, at, in your area and they you kind of let them get away with different things with you because they're a little bit more silly they don't tell so too seriously they're a little bit more ha ha he he slapstick funny and maybe your friends in the hood don't really take to i don't know pulling each other's trousers down as a joke they don't take too well to slapping each other's food out of his hands they don't take too well to gay innuendo jokes and shit it's just whatever it is isn't it just kind of is what it is but for some reason you guys over there in america don't seem to like that especially the black people they don't seem to like the fun and games and some people are saying that it's like I don't know they're questioning their masculinity their sexuality they're thinking that they're being cucked out by these people it's just bizarre um but for me all i see here is a very rich and successful rapper who usually is the richest person in the room wherever he goes finally going into rooms where he's not the richest person in the world no one's trying to suck up to him in that way like he usually is used to and he can kind of be himself that's all i'm kind of seeing that's how it's so genuine the smile and he looks so relaxed because he knows he doesn't need to walk around with a blicky you know what i mean because everything is kind of locked down and secure around these people and they also are not really exuding that kind of energy um yeah bit of a non-story really but i saw it all over social people getting their fucking panties in a twist about it but essentially it kind of was a celebrity pie where everyone was look clearly looking like they're having the time of their lives having a drink having a ball um obviously all the help <laughs> <laughs> all the help <laughs> you know i'll go on all the help all the help all the help was a certain you know we know exactly what's going on with the help in these type of places i'm just surprised she wasn't wearing a mask but hey it is what it is um <laughs> I love in America how you're always constantly reminded <laughs> about where you stand in it. <laughs> these niggas have got these niggas have got watches on, right? That are probably worth more than her entire family that's living right now. He's got a watch on right now. That Hublot that's probably worth more than what her entire family is worth right now. That one watch could essentially pay for the lives of like ten people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway we move we move we move um james harden little baby <laughs> you got usher here performing around the loads of white women as well living his best life love to see that for him white is right um justin bieber over here you got meek mill straining doing his best fucking vocal performance there maybe a couple of addies are in his bloodstream maybe he's just on a good vegan diet we don't know uh tom brady here we're killing mbappe big up mbappe he's looking good and obviously kevin hart sticking to the drinks um but making sure his phone's well away from himself and 
there's no you know other baddies around her that he's going to be slap ticking back people still forget that video of kevin hart absolutely destroying those ladies in that room is absolutely hilarious isn't it he was blowing their backs out man that was crazy like you know sometimes like guys always have that kind of like i don't know that nightmare of getting caught cheating or something right <laughs> it's always that kind of like the quintessential the quintessential scene is what you see on movies where like you're both under the cover and someone comes in and you kind of both pop your heads up but the, does anybody have a nightmare of like you're flipping spread eagle like you're absolutely going crazy do you know what I mean hands on the arch like just plowing and your partner walks in what do you say <laughs> nah baby it's not what it is it's not what it looks like i'm just exercising i'm doing pilates like what do you say to make that make sense oh but kevin hart's a fucking legend but anyway long sorry long let little baby enjoy himself he's clearly having a good time this michael rubin guy clearly you know makes a guy smile they're clearly good friends um i don't know if some people haven't worked with white people before in workplaces you don't really know why i want for that that's just how they move they love hugs they love inappropriate jokes it kind of is what it is really i don't really see the issue behind it but people are going to be weird people are going to be weird